A new investigative report shows that U.S. President Donald Trump lies on average 30 times a day. Now, this was investigated by David Dale, the Washington correspondent for Canada's newspaper, the Toronto Star. Now, here's some of what he discovered. Dale described Trump's recent false statements as whoppers, adding that they have been complete fabrications. He argued that the term lies is the most accurate word for some of these claims. However, Dale added that he personally uses false claims when it is not clear whether Trump is simply confused or just doesn't understand the policy. Well, when you talk to the public and you tell them something that you're doing or the way things are and you don't know what you're talking about and you say something false, Though while that may not be directly a lie, it's a sign of direct incompetence. Now, one of the examples that he gives is Trump says they don't have tariffs anywhere, despite the fact that Trump instituted tariffs on multiple products from foreign companies that are being imported to the United States. So that's, that's an example of a pretty big lie that Trump has made. I mean, we know that he's made repeated false statements alleging that Iran had violated the nuclear treaty, which is not true just one uh, big example. Now, the Washington Post has also done a very similar piece on Trump, and they had noticed that the amount of statements that were false or misleading have increased substantially since the midterms approached. According to the newspaper, during the first nine months of his presidency, Trump made an average of five inaccurate statements per day. However, in the past seven weeks, Trump has increased that in an average of six times, reaching about 30 per day. The burden of the keeping track of this verbiage has consumed the weekends and nights of the fact checker staff, the Post said in its report. Now, it should be noted that politicians lie constantly. This is what they do. This is basically their job. However, it should be noted that Americans will now elect lawmakers to 435 seats of the House of Representatives. 35 seats of 100 seats in the Senate will also be contested. So just try to keep that in mind. I mean, it's voting is pretty much a farce, but it is good to understand that this is the way things are and this is the way they're proceeding. It's important for people to know how bad of a liar Donald Trump is when there are so many people who support him so blindly and believe no, anything he says, no matter what. Now, generally speaking, from independent polls and nonpartisan forecasters, the Democrats are generally favored to win the 23 seats that would need to get a majority in the U.S. House of Representatives away from the Republicans, which they have held since 2010. But, you know, I have a personal note. Is this really that surprising that Donald Trump is a pathological liar? A guy who lies about things that doesn't even that don't even need to be lied about? Things that he doesn't even know what he's talking about? Like, when he's saying something and he doesn't even actually know it, but just says something anyway to make it sound like he does, and then people go and fact check, and it's very clear that he has no idea what he's talking about. Doesn't this perfectly represent the people who support Donald Trump? They will literally just believe anything he says without question. No matter how ridiculous it is, no matter how easy it is to find, we uh, find out whether or not it's true on the first page of a Google search. I'm not even talking about things that are a matter of opinion. I'm talking about things that are like literally lies. Like things that are objectively, demonstrably false. But don't tell them because then they just get mad at you and call you libtard cuck. That's the way they operate. It's just so very strange how they're so insulting of liberals. And I'm not defending liberals here. I'm just talking about how these people are. They will insult them on the most ridiculous grounds and call them cultists and all kinds of like derogatory terms for someone who doesn't think for themselves, etc. When this is the very thing that they do. Now, keep in mind that, of course, voting is a fraud. If you were allowed to vote, if your vote mattered, then they would make it illegal. But for now, it's best to understand how things are and why they are the way they are and to really understand how much of a monumental piece of human garbage that Trump really is. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.